So in the following problem, um, it asks you to problems, it asks you to change some word phrases into variable expressions. So in the first one, it says three times the sum of x and four minus five. So you start with this multiplication, and you have three times something, and what you're multiplying by is this word, the sum. So sum always means parentheses, so we're going to put some parentheses in. We have x and four, so x plus four. So we're multiplying three times the parentheses x, and four, uh, x plus four. Then what we're doing at the end is just subtracting five, and so it's just minus five. Number two, it says five less than. So five less than means you're going to do minus five. Right, so at the end we're going to have minus five. So what's it less than? It's less than a product. And the product that it's less than is three and a number. Well, the number we're just going to call x. So you have this 3x minus 5. And then at the end, you can't forget that it also asks you to add 10. So you end up with 5 less than 3x, and then you add 10 at the end. 3 says 18 plus 3 times the quantity 18, 8, x minus 8. So you got 18 plus something, so that's a pretty easy thing. And then it's 3 times a quantity. So that means 3 times parentheses something. And what it is that you're taking the quantity of is x minus 8. So x minus 8. So that's what your answer looks like on that. And then the last one, it says the difference of x and 6 divided by the quantity 4 plus 8. So the first thing is difference of x, mi x minus x and 6. Well, that's difference is always parentheses, and it's always subtraction. So you do it in the order that it's given, so x minus 6, divided by... And then quantity means parentheses, and what's in the quantity is 4 plus x. Now, the other way you could have written this um, is you, you could have done it as a fraction. You could have done x minus 6 over 4 plus x. Okay, so on the next problem, the next set of problems, these are just solving some uh, basic arithmetic problems. So number 5, you do 4 minus 12. Well, we never got minus. We change it to plus a negative. 4 plus a negative 12. Signs are different, so you subtract. 12 minus 4 is 8, so you end up with negative 8. The next one, change all subtraction to addition, so subtraction to addition. But if I change it to addition, addition I change the sign after my change, so negative 4 becomes positive 4. Add the first two up. Negative 7 plus negative 3 is negative 10 plus 4. Signs are different, so you subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 is bigger, so it's negative 6. Then on the last one, it's just a multiplication problem. 4 times negative 12, 3 is negative 12. 12. Negative 12 times negative 2 is a positive 24. And then 24 times a negative 1 is a negative 24. Remember, if you've got two negatives, it's a positive. And then one negative, one positive like this, then it's a negative. So that's why 24 times negative 1 is a negative.